So I would describe my work as colourful, joyful and bold. This is my um, acrylic painting station. So I've got two easels. Here's a big one, a commission I've got currently in progress. And then another work I'm working on on the opposite side. So I can kind of work between these two painting areas. I mainly use Matisse structure, which are the best, in my opinion, paints. A bit of golden too, of my preferred paints. Rarely do I mix, uh, do I paint straight from the tube. So I'll mix a lot of colors and I'll use jars and lots of little plastic containers which I continue to fill up and work with throughout the, the day. Uh, so this is my desk. I try to keep this one tidy. It's right near my door and this is where I do a bit of admin type stuff as well as drawing and collaging which is a way I generate ideas. I have set up this area for my daughter to work with. So she's in year 12 doing art. And she might do a few things here. But then I've got a little oil painting area. I haven't had a lot of time to do a lot of oil painting, but because it takes longer to dry, I tend to just set this up so it's ready to go and I can just do little bits and pieces as I go. Over here are my kind of inspiration boards. These are ideas I work with. Um, these two little drawings here were done after that experience up in Flinders Rangers in 2017. The landscape of South Australia always inspires me. Um, I had quite an amazing experience a few years ago in the Flinders Ranges, standing up on a hill and I could see all the way from north to south the total hill range and it was quite an amazing experience where time and space kind of, there was some kind of weird thing going on and I just thought this is amazing and that's something that continues to inspire me in the way I use the landscape. I really want to explore how we interact with the environment. My favourite locations. Uh, I love anywhere where I have a, a kind of a, a vista, an expanse, an expansiveness and an openness of the landscape. I'm not interested in the urban environment. I'm interested in farmland where you might see maybe some crops and patterns that way. But mainly I love rolling hills. And so there's hills near our house that I uh, walk up. Uh, I love going to the Flinders Ranges. I've done that for a few, a few times. And I love Kangaroo Island where I grew up as well. So these things kind of just all come through into my work. Colour is the one element that I continue to find in art is a, a great adventure. Um, Colours, uh, it is pure energy, it's pure light energy and I use it in a way to create strong contrasts and to build up sort of vibrating areas where two contrasting colours might come together. But I also like to use it to inject energy into a work but also create harmony as well. So it's a balancing act and it's very intuitive for me. My favourite tool is this lovely creation. It is a Stadler. Um, I'm not sure I'm saying the brand right. It's a, just a flexible drawing tool. So I use this uh, in my works to create lovely soft curves, to get nice shapes. You can do so many things with it. Um, it's covered in paint because I use it obviously all the time on my canvases. That and probably a few Set squares and things like that are, are really important tools for me. My rulers, my big metre long rulers, I use them a lot. My favourite working time to come down and paint would have to be the early mornings. It is when I'm freshest and I, as a professional artist, I just work all day right through to about 5.30 or 6ish. If I've got deadlines, I'll try to push that, but by the time it gets to 9 o'clock, that's it for me. I'll, I'll be making mistakes and it's time to pack it away. Art is my absolute passion. It's my life's work. Um, it's 
I think in many ways more of a universal experience. It's a way of mediating life's experiences. Um, to me, it's it's visual poetry. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine my life without art. I'm absolutely passionate about it.